Hello everybody, and thanks for joining me in today's video where I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon Violet. Now then, in the last video, we had just managed to catch ourselves a new member of the team, a Dracloak. So, let's hop right in. Why are they all in such varied Pokeballs? You're in an Ultra Ball, you're in a Timer, you're in a Nest, you're in an Ultra, you're in a Normal, and you're in a great. Why are so- Why are you all in just such a variety? So weird. Who can most assuredly be stopped by just a single, just one. All that ne they need to stop my entire team is a fairy type. Like that is it. Well, no. I could probably manage to take... <gasps> Garchomp can learn Poison Jab. No Pokemon is safe. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. I've had the base of operation for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the Segan Squad. Nope, don't know you. Yup, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our ter- Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we'll have to send you packing. I decided to give him a surfer voice. And I'm also going to attempt to do a valley girl, but, um... It, it's probably gonna go through. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that Crominator kid? You know, that piece of work we're out here to get for declaring war on Team Star? God. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Your narrows, really. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, not always the best boss. Ugh, you, know. oh, you know what? Doesn't matter who you are, you're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? I will crush you. Crush, sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it, prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Why do you throw a temper tantrum every try every time you're just a little angry? Oh flame. Oh every time I see that it hurts my soul a little bit more. Now prepare to get screwed. Be gone. <laughs> you have no idea who you are dealing with. Gah! Why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Also, doing that voice is killing my soul. Gah! How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would ya, bud? Okay, thanks. Hasta la vista! God. Hasta la vista. Mm. She's new to the team, you know. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> well, I'm gonna go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista! Okay, you're cool. I won't call you lame. You're actually slightly decent human being. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's dark crew, the Segan Squad. Their boss... I am going to butcher this so badly. Giacomo! Pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. That's what I always do! Just keep on defeating as many Pokémon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Segan squad off the map. And I shall lose it. 
Okay, let's go. Are you ready to challenge Team Star? Yes. He does not stand a chance. Like, I mean, I got a bunch of giganto Pokemons. <laughs> Some kid out beating one of our sister squads, and now he thinks he can take us on. Time to give him the boot, gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Great Crasher, know this. Unless you can beat up 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. You'll put the ice types! Follow me. Destroy! Oh, never mind. Never mind. They're just gonna kill any everything, I think. Oh my god. Look at you all. You're all so gigantic and beautiful. Where are they? Oh, oh no. I'm sorry, Zora was. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Ah, more. Oh, come on. Stop sending Zora was at me. Are you trying to defeat me, defeat me by making me feel bad? Oh no, not Sand Isles too. Damn it, there are too many dark type Pokemon that I like. There we go. <laughs> that was flipping easy. He's way above our level. We've gotta get the boss. Ooh. Wow. How impressive. Your car is exactly the same. Just a slightly different color from the other ladies. Boss of Team Star's Dark Crew, a Giacomo. Still probably butchering that. You did a real number on us, Project Crasher. I know I gave this guy a different voice, but I forgot what it was, so this is gonna have to do. Crominator, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe, either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Alright, I'm gonna end the video there. Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. <laughs> Sometimes I scare myself with the voices I do. Hey, can I listen to what you're, what you're making? Wait, seriously? That's what you're sending up against me? I don't really think things through, do ya? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. You're sending a par- You have displeased me with this great, great, great show of disrespect. Respect my dragons! Now die! Oh! That was not what I was expecting, but... Damn! That looks an awful lot like Stone Edge. Revive Room. You're not- you kind of already had a revolve room out. Time to up the tempo! This show ain't over yet! Yeah, I'm gonna beat the snot out of your car. What? How dare you? How dare you lower my attack! Also, why is the dark team lower level than the fire team? I thought the fire team was the one I was meant to take on first. No wonder I got decimated. I think this was the one I was meant to take on first. Goodbye. Damn, man, that was easy. For being the guy who so-called runs Team Star, that was lame. Rawr.
We're gonna get another flashback. How oh, good. Yes, that's that. No, no, come on, dude. No, come on. Why are we flashbacking? A year and a half ago. Yes, that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted my take on some stuff. So we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice! So you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? <laughs> no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be the president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they won't take it. We've got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. I think this may be a little bit over that. Your rules for vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you'll always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up council prez isn't who you are, man. Anymore, man. A code ran by the Giacomo I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay. Thanks for the ego boost. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the Dawn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no one going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. What I'm wondering is, am I seeing the flashbacks? Are they beaming the flashbacks into my brain? Back on it now. My days is about. Oh, so here, take my star badge, would ya? Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Alright, at least this guy isn't breaking my hand like the other girl did. I'll give you this choice TM, too. You earned it fair and square. Foul play. Meh. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this move inflicts. Interesting. Ah, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy. Like, what moves you should use and stuff. You know what? No, I'm gonna say this because we kind of want him to go back to school. So, sure did. Huh, okay. You like, the, you like it at the academy? Having fun? Yeah, I'm enjoying it. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you, Giacomo? Whoa! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxweld Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know. As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, so we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the, who's the absolute number one trainer, you know. They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in... We haven't heard from him in... I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept his team star going, then they'd be get back in touch one day. The teachers kept pressing us to call it quits, and then we got party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. 
They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of you. Oh wait, so, Team Star and this big boss of yours. They're really that important to you. <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the Academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. I gotta say, I love the story for this game. All of these stories are just so amazing and interesting and actually have a little bit of depth to them. Combinator, it's me. I take it that Giacomo's star badge is now in your possession? Yes. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Segan squad is pretty much done for. Giacomo. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Yeah, you're the big boss. You're the big boss, yep. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. Like, I am over 90% sure you are the big boss. Nice! I'll have my supply unit rep meet you shortly. Penny, I believe, was her name, right? Yep. Uh, hello. It's me again from the supply unit. Are you? Wow, what the heck? Hey, stop that. Somebody help. Ah, he likes you. Or he wants to eat you for lunch. You, you haven't been eating any sandwiches recently, have you? Well, uh, it drew it all over me. What even is that Pokemon anyway? It's really awesome is what it is. Uh, I guess that's one word for it. Wait, is it really that special? Uh, um, but before I forget, here's your reward. Maybe you could give me that Eevee backpack you got hanging there? Um, your name's Chrominator, right? Yes. Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Eh, they're pretty strong. That one lady decimated me. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just inspo I got by hacking. Damn it, now I feel bad for calling them lame! Game! Stop making me feel bad! I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Hmm. I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. So, um, good luck with taking down the other bases and stuff. Give me your Eevee backpack! No. The Eevee. Alright, I'm gonna end the video there. Thank you all for watching. If you want to see me live, be sure to check out my Twitch channel down in the description below. And be sure to leave a comment on what you enjoyed. But anyway, hopefully I'll see you for my next video. Bye-bye!